weekly update. It's Friday the 12th of June and uh, I'm on my way to drop my mum shopping off as I usually do on a Friday morning. Um, main news this week is that the Caravan and Motorhome Club first and the Camping and Caravanning Club second announced that they're going to be opening uh, some of the sites. And there's quite a few sites that are not opening, um, some, particularly some in remote locations obviously look on their websites to, to figure out which ones are opening but basically from I think mainly from about the 4th of July uh, some of the sites will be open so if you haven't already booked a site then <laughs> it's probably about time that you did if you're going to book a site of course. As for the sort of the private sites I think you really have to contact the site directly. Uh, I know we've got some tranquil um, uh, Tranquil Parks sites booked in August, and as far as I know, they'll be they'll be open. But uh, probably will need to check that they are. Um, the other th other bit of news this week is I've done a couple couple of updates, about three updates on the van, um, and uh, I've got some video of those updates. So the first one was that following on from our first new to motorhomes video. Uh, people said, why don't you have a lock on the spare wheel? I thought probably <laughs> it's it's probably a good idea. It's going to deter someone, an opportunist, from nicking your wheel. Uh, it's not going to stop anyone who's determined enough to do it. So anyway, here's a bit of footage of me um, fitting a lock to my spare wheel carrier. Yes, yeah, so this is a sterling double loop cable got some locks to go with it some waterproof locks cap on them and lock and they've got their seal when they close so, waterproof cap on them so i go and fit this and secure my spare wheel around the chassis, through the wheel, round the thing, that's not going anywhere, and it's not, it's not below the level of the van so that's good. The other thing that turned up, and uh, I took a little bit of video of it fitting, something I've not really covered before, was the thermal screen for uh, the front of the van. I bought a tailor-made uh, thermal screen it, to replace the current one, which is basically uh, worn out, I think. I bought that second hand about six years ago. So here's a bit of footage of me fitting the new screen. New Box Duke LL Remis. Yes. Oh, it's all nice and shiny. Yeah, that's good, isn't it? Much cleaner it looks than the old one. Hmm. I've seen that before. Okay. Now the, now the magnet fixing things, aren't they? Okay. Black elastics hooks so I have to stop the cover from blowing up in the wind. Place the end of the elastic with a velcro underneath the cover which is resting on the bonnet. Corresponding velcro underneath. The hook end is fastened onto the bumper. There is a lip you can attach the hook onto. Do the same with the other elastic. It should look like two parallel black lines down the bonnet from the cover onto the bumper when they're in place. Mine doesn't doesn't didn't never look like that, did it? Covers now supplied with an optional extra, a hedgehog, to attach the cab door covers to the van. 
hedgehog is a small square of velcro and a magnet. Oh, yes, okay. Yeah, that's a hedgehog, apparently. Didn't know that. Those replacement hedgehogs are three, three pound plus delivery. Great, okay, excellent. Got instructions as well. Yeah, all the instructions there, and we'll go through that. Should be fairly easy to fit. Find the end of it. There's the end. There's the corner of it. What you're doing? As you open the door, good. Not got much room here. Find the corner here, the pocket thing. It goes over. What? Goes over the door. Like that. Shut the door. I would do it on a windy day, wouldn't I? That just goes over the wing mirror, just loosely now. Oh, it's shiny as well, isn't it? Just open the door slightly and you just pull it over that there like that. Just pull it down a bit, close the door, and then you can clip the velcro a bit here together. <coughs> I normally close the mirror, do the same on the other side. Is windy today. I'll put a hedgehog on. A bit of velcro there, and you put that under there. That's got like a magnet so that stops it flapping about. Same under there. I'll just hold it in place. And then you've got these straps here. I've got velcro on them. Velcro there, and you just strap it to the bumper. I think probably there will do for now. Might need to adjust that a bit. It's got like a clip, and the clip goes around. Right, you just put it on there. That's so. it. Yep, do the same with that one. That's it. So that's all done. Yep. Blimey, that's shiny. <laughs> yeah. Now the beauty of this is that it covers the vents under there because it's nice and long. It covers your windscreen. Yeah, just close the mirror. On it. That mirror, put it close to the mirror like that, actually helps keep it in place as well. It keeps it nice and dark in here as well. It also means that you don't have to use the blinds, of course. And that's the bit inside. Yeah, that's good. That's the bag. I will put it away now because I don't really want to leave it out when we're on the drive. And it's going to replace this old one. You can see how dull that looks. Mind you, it's probably about how, how old do you think that is? Oh, um. We were using it on the Bailey, weren't we? Got it for the Bailey. 
before that. No, no, no. we kind of got it from before that because we're a different type of van. Right, so well that's 2014 then. Yes, yeah, so we've been using it six years. So it's been out in all sorts of weather. It was just looking a bit, a little bit tatty. And the Velcro was wearing out. I suppose that's the worst thing. I notice on here, they've got Velcro going all the way around. On the new one, they've just got a strip of Velcro to, I suppose it tells you where where to put your connection and that's tailor-made um, thermal screen um, highly recommended and uh, I use them all the time and the main benefit of the thermal screen I've got to say is it keeps condensation on the front windows down to an absolute minimum and it keeps the van warmer in the winter and it keeps it cooler in the summer because it's reflective final bit of news is that I finally got the dogs groomed. My sister dropped Tara off on Wednesday and uh, we took Tara and Poppy to the groomers. So have a look at this. Your lead Tara. Can't see your lead. That's there. Knock and wait. You gotta wait, girls. Hiya. Go on then. Go on, in you go. In you go. Girls, come on, Poppy. In. Go. Yeah, in That's it. Yeah, that's fine. If you just pop me in there. Come on, in you go. Home with you. Yeah, we'll do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll not be in there. No. All right, see, I know it's a little bit different. There we are. Let's take your leads off. All right. Get a nice haircut. I, know. <laughs> I could do it with one. <laughs> right, I'll get back and wash my hands then. So this is the new norm really. Will be for some while I should think. So someone was asking us earlier on um, Facebook Messenger that I thought the October show was going ahead. I think they're probably still planning to, to go ahead. There's a lot of money and obviously new models and everything invested in that show, so they'll probably try and get it to go ahead, but it sort of baffles me really how they're going to handle people looking around motorhomes. They're gonna to have to have sort of like escorted in and out or something, I don't know. So how do you you know stop people touching everything? At least, you know, for a dealer they they can manage how many people are coming in and out of the dealership <sighs> I don't know we'll see New Much better tea. This is what she normally looks like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good girl. Couldn't see you under all of that. Be about three pounds lighter, weren't you, Pops? T uh, Tara? <laughs> Where are you, Pops? Poppy. There you are. Pardon you. You do look so much smarter, Poppy. Don't you? Are you? I'm tired now, aren't you? A few little ordeal. 
So that's it for this weekly update. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe. Hit the notifications bell icon. Get updates when I do an update. We'll see you soon. Bye then.